Hello, Virgos. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of April 26th through May 2nd. This reading is for all of the Virgos out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, for the week of April 26th through May 2nd. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If you find that this reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. <coughs> if you like my vibe, my energy, and you feel like I am the reader for you, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. Also hit that thumbs up image so that this video circulates and find someone else that needs clarity, enlightenment, and guidance pertaining to their situation in love or finances. If you need a private reading, the email is in the description link along with some other links that may interest you. And with that being said, we are going to start your reading Virgos, Virgos, Spirit, what is the current energy for my Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the current energy for the sign of Virgos? Okay. Alright, so we have the Two of Swords. The Five of Wands. <clears throat> and it's the past energy. Okay. We have Renewal. Could have something to do with the Scorpio. <clears throat> um, the Ten of Wands. The Lovers. Gemini Virgo energy. What is your immediate future? We have balance, Libra's energy. What are you fearing? Okay. Okay, so some of you have like a lot on your mind. Could be having scattered thoughts. We have the Queen of Wands here. The Page of Wands. And the Knight of Wands. So we have a lot of fire energy here. Okay. And then you come out at the end. The Hermit. <laughs> Verbal energy. You may be waiting for something to be illuminated to you at this time. This may have something to do with a Leo or someone with Leo in their chart. We have the Sun card at the bottom of, of, of both of these decks. One right here. And then right here. Okay, so again... Some of you are unable to make a decision. You are you may be overanalyzing a situation. And with this five of wands, this is causing some type of mental confliction. Confliction within yourself. Because you're overanalyzing a situation. Okay? And you're not able to make a decision. You want to solve a problem but don't know how. In the past, you may have wanted to renew a situation with someone. May You may have been thinking about forgiving someone. This may have something to do with children as well. With the Ten of Wands, this has caused you to feel overwhelmed about the situation. And right now with this lover's card, you have a decision to make again. There's a decision here that will bring imbalance. I feel like you need to compromise. Be a little more diverse 
and practice patience and balance. And you, that's what you will be practicing or experiencing in your immediate future. You fear that you're not going to be able to take action. You fear that you're not going to be able to make this decision. You're trying to stay enthusiastic about it. But you're becoming impatient. You're becoming impatient. And you're hoping that you can stay focused and move towards your goals and the things that... Um, you're hoping that you can trust your instincts as well. And... Something may need your immediate attention. Like something needs your attention right now. And maybe that is pertaining to this decision that you have to make with this hermit card being here. I see you going within to gain some type of clarity and enlightenment regarding this situation. So let's see what else spirit has to say for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, Spirit, what other, what other messages do you have for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What other messages? Okay, we have the Judgment card. So I feel like Scorpio's energy, you may have to make a judgment call and it, again, a decision. You may have to make a judgment call that will balance out a situation. May have something to do with children again. May someone may have to walk away from something or someone is going to cause some type of disappointment and regret. Maybe that's what this decision is about. Someone has, having to walk away from someone. Yeah, walking away and being alone. Or walking away on their own to something like that. Somebody walking away from something. Walking away from a person. Yeah. Or walking away and on their own. Walking away from a toxic situation. Capricorn's energy. Some walking away from someone that's manipulative. They have addictions, overindulgence. Walking away and moving towards peace and harmony. So that they can be happy. Leo's energy. And there's someone that's going to take action. <clears throat> could be you. Could be your person. Someone in your heart space that you're thinking about. Someone's going to take action. And make this choice. Or this decision. Because someone is up at night. Um, thinking about this situation. It's called, it caused some type of heartbreak. Could have been arguments. Fighting. Could be, again, with a kid or um, with their page of cups represents children or someone with immature energy, like a young adult or something like that. They may not be getting the attention that they need because they may be partying or um, be, could be, like, around a lot of people. I'm seeing a party here, though. Someone may be partying. And having addictions. And again, the page of swords. So it's causing some type of disappointment. This immature energy. So they again, the lovers, the Gemini energy, there's a decision to make. Because I see someone knows their worth. And they know they don't deserve this. Whatever is going on. Could be an Aquarius with that star card. So someone may be move, moving away or walking away to heal and so that things can get better because they they love you, you love them. And we don't have to stay around toxic situations. I feel like someone's going to get cut off 
with that queen of swords. Someone's going to get cut off and left behind because of toxic energy. Yeah. Two of cups. Why is there two of cups here? Someone's going to cut off a relationship or, yeah, make a decision to cut off some type of relationship. Yeah, they're going to hold back. Going to hold back. And work on their finances because of this disappointment, discontent. From this person, someone could be, um, someone could have spoken some truth and they caused someone to walk away or turn their back on a situation. Someone could also be waiting for their ships to come in, but I'm seeing someone turn their backs. There's some, a blockage, restrictions within the stability of a family and finances. Yeah, some uncertainty. Someone feels like they have been left in the dark and they don't want to work on the situation anymore. Someone doesn't want to work on this anymore. It's toxic. Wait a minute, thank you. I'm going to take you out in one minute, okay? Not today. Someone is setting up boundaries and not dealing with this toxic energy, ascending to the next level. You can't stay in the same place. Some people are just toxic. That's just how some people are. And there may be a separation from your soulmate. Soulmates are only uh, your, your lovers or your husbands or your wives or your boyfriends or girlfriends. A soulmate could be anyone that has been placed here on this earthly realm to teach you a lesson. So, Virgos, this is your reading for the week of April 26th through... May 2nd, comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.